In a court fight over the wreckage of the Titanic, a Georgia company has rights to salvage the site, but now the U.S. government has gone to court to stop that from happening. U.S. officials are especially interested in the Titanic's radio that called for help. NBC's Tom Costello has more from both sides. For 111 years, Titanic has rested some 12,500 feet down on the ocean floor. Its maiden voyage from England to New York captured on film. The terror of hitting an iceberg in the dead of night portrayed in blockbuster movies. In an hour or so, all this will be at the bottom of the Atlantic. Among the artifacts already recovered, shoes, silverware, fine china. But now the U.S. government is moving to block the company with the salvage rights, RMS Titanic, from recovering even more, including the ship's wireless telegraph that transmitted the SOS to passing ships. In a court filing, RMS Titanic says it hopes to return next year and may recover freestanding objects inside the wreck, including objects from inside the Marconi room, the radio room. Under U.S. law and international agreements, the wreckage is now a memorial and cannot be disturbed. The government insists the company is not free to disregard this validly enacted federal law, yet that is its stated intent. The uh, company's uh, reason to be is they, they do the, all of the uh, exhibits that have uh, the actual artifacts from the Titanic. David Gallo is a strategic advisor to RMS Titanic. We talked to him in June before the government's challenge. The rules are there can be no more recovery of artifacts. In 1996, Titanic survivor Edith Hazeman told us of the night she lost her father. I never forget it. See all the dead bodies floating in the sea. It was terrible. Since 1985, roughly 250 people have visited Titanic. Then, in June, tragedy. Five people died when their submersible imploded. It is a grave site. 1,500 people died there. Researcher Katie Croft Bell has dived to the site herself. Even as time and the ocean's depths take their toll on the wreckage, she now thinks it should be treated with the reverence of a cemetery. Are we actually learning anything new about it? And is that the reason to recover artifacts? Or should we just leave it alone? We have a lot of things already. Let's just call it a day and, and leave it with respect.